Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Preatek Fasting Plate. This simple but yet powerful web application is used to calculate fastening plates according to Eurocode. You are able to optimize the plate and also obtain a nice documentation where you can see a clear step-by-step -step calculation procedure and also references to Eurocode. The application is developed for computers but can be accessed from both mobile and tablet devices provided that you have an internet connection. In this video, I will demonstrate a calculation and explain the features and layout of the application. First, you need to create a user account, which is free of charge. After the registration and login, I will end up in this view. The program is divided into two main fields. The left area is used for input data and the right field changes depending on the setting of the marker. It can either show 3D view, design data, or detailed results. The input field is divided into different expandable sections, which can be of use if you're working with a lower screen resolution. By pressing the question mark by each section, you're able to get some useful quick information on how to input the variables. The 3D view can be rotated by holding down the left mouse button and pan around by pressing the right mouse button. You're also able to zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. The view will update automatically and give you useful feedback when changing in data. The calculation is performed according to Eurocode with regard to different national annexes. You are also able to customize the specific national parameters if your country is not included in this list. In our example, we will use Pretec PGL 200 x 200, which is a fastening plate with headed studs. However, you are also able to calculate fastening plates with straight studs. For more information about calculation assumption and Eurocode references, please press the general help icon or read the manual. We start out by selecting our fastening plate by opening the product picker. Here you can see the different types of fastening plates manufactured by Pritik and a short summary and picture with measurements. We choose PGL 200 times 200. After this, we select the connecting beam. The choice of beam does not influence the stress distribution of the plate because it's assumed to be rigid with a linear stress distribution. For more information about this, please visit the manual. If I choose a cross section that does not fit the fastening plate, I will get an error message when I try to run the calculation, which can be seen here. After this, we assign our eccentricity, which is illustrated in the 3D view. This setting will influence the stress distribution of the plate. Then I set the material quality and if the concrete is cracked or uncracked. Now it's time to set the concrete thickness and cover. In some situation, for example when another fastening plate is placed close by the one analyzed, you want to be able to take this into consideration. This is done by assigning a fictitious edge. The program will then calculate concrete edge and blowout failure with regard to the assigned cover, but use the fictitious edge distance when calculating other failure modes, for example concrete cone failure. This is a way to obtain a more realistic behavior and calculation with regard to other fastening plates placed nearby. Here you can set different parameters for the reinforcement. First, you're able to set the gamma RE value, which takes into consideration any edge reinforcement. The program does not, however, take into consideration any supplementary reinforcement, but you still need to input spacing and diameter of the reinforcement because the values are needed for calculating concrete cone failure. Last, we set the reinforcement cover which is used for calculating the minimum thickness of the concrete block. You can always press the information button for the different input fields to obtain more information about the setting. In the next section, you're able to set some specific parameters for the calculation. The first parameter 
eta1 is an assumption regarding the concrete bond condition for straight bars. This is however not used in our example because the chosen fastening plate uses headed studs. Here you manually need to set the different steel plate failure lengths. The program will check the load that is carried through the failure line in both directions. If the user does not input a length, the check is not performed. Please click the information button or visit the manual for further instructions. It is now time to input our load cases. The loads are defined in the global coordinate system, which you can see in the 3D view. In addition to this, you will also get a visual feedback for the direction of the selected load at the position where the load is applied, seen here. You can add additional load cases and removing them by clicking the minus button to the right of the table. Alright, we're now ready to run the calculation. Here we can see a summary of the results and a simple visualization of the different failure modes. If we want further information, we can go into the detailed results by clicking here. We can also reach this window by selecting results in the main menu. In this view, we can see the stress distribution and anchor forces, as well as a more detailed view of the values from the Euro code check. If I want to optimize the choice of fastening plate, I can go into design mode. When I press run design, the program will perform a calculation for all fastening plates included in Pretex product library. Do notice that all in data found to the left is used to evaluate the different plates. This can lead to both overutilization but also geometrical errors. Okay, let's say that we are happy with the results and want to create a report. This is done by pressing the button in the right top corner. Here you can fill in your specific project information, which will be presented in the printed report. To navigate in the report, you can use the links to the left here. The default setting is to show a condensed summary of the in-data parameters, but you're also able to create a full report with step-by-step -step calculations by clicking this button. Here I can navigate to a specific calculation and see the relevant Eurocode references. Now we can print the report for manual audit or for project documentation. In our example, I will use a PDF printer to obtain the PDF file. If I close the application, the program will save the last calculated fastening plate. So when I open up the application again, I will be able to continue where I left off. However, if you switch computers or want to have a backup saved to your local hard drive, it is possible to save the calculation by going to the menu and click Save here. In the same way, you are also able to load previous calculations here. This concludes our example. If you have any questions or need help using the software, please contact the support. Thank you for watching.